This porn addiction has been going on for as long as I can remember. It all started when I was mighty, mighty young. In a way, I feel like porn is kind of an escape for me. Well, at least I made that my escape. It all started when I was young. Attractive females in the movies, attractive females in the phone, sometimes even seeing sex scenes. If you're a kid, then how are you able to access adult movies? You know, it's insane. You hear people talking around you. Sometimes you hear your mom talk, you hear your dad talk, you hear people on social media, and it kind of influenced you in a way. When I was young, when I first started going into puberty, beating my meme was the best thing ever. It was the best thing for me. It was the best feeling ever. I thought it was a superior feeling. I felt like I was on cloud nine. I'm like, no way anything could feel better than this. Fast forward five, six years later, it has become a habit. You're watching porn all the time. You're not doing nothing productive with your life. Every second you have, you're beating your meat. And not only that, but you beat your meat so much to the point where you won't even get an erection when you're with a person. There's no need for you to get an erection with a person because you're in a relationship with a phone. I wish that I had a better influence on me when I was younger. I wish I had people that were looking out for me. I wish I had people that was telling me what was right from wrong. I wish I had a role model. I wish I had somebody to guide me. But I didn't have that. And because I didn't have that, I made a lot of mistakes. Now, am I 100% blaming them? No, because I've, I've done it. I've, I did it. I did what I did. But I'm not gonna say it in a lot like that that it influenced me to do what I did. Beating your meat lowers your testosterone. You're no longer a man. You feel weak. You're tired. You can't even get through the day. You're mad at everybody. You're mad at everything. You're mad at the whole world. Everywhere we go, there's sex. There's sex in movies, sex on YouTube, sex on Instagram. It's everywhere we go. There's sex in the music. Like, what is going on? Why is everything so over-sexualized? At the end of the day, I love my mom so much. That's my mom. By the end of the day, it's no way that I should have been able to access adult movies. When I was young, I was being bad. I was looking through my mom's stuff. Why was it there even in the first place? My thing is, if you tell a kid don't do it, a kid gonna do it anyway, baby. And I'm not blaming my mom because I chose to watch porn. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I don't see the negative effects of porn. You're the only person that can make that change. You're the only person that can take yourself to the next step. So at the end of the day, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do to, to be the best version of yourself and to be your definition of happiness. Looking at my friends in a sexual way, I'm looking at my friends like, yo, my friends is fine as fuck. It's just like, that's my friends. You know, why am I why am I thinking about my friends in a sexual way? Like, how do I expect to have a great future if I'm just sitting here just beating my freaking meat all day? And that's why I'm so happy that I decided to finally quit porn, man. Because at the end of the day, it's, that's not where it's at. But that ain't where it's at, man. If you engage in sexual activities, do it with a person, not a phone, not a screen, okay? It's eight billion people in this world. Really, really take a hold of your life, you know, to really, really be happy, okay? So this is part one. Part two is coming up next. Don't forget to like, hit that post notification button, and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys ever get discouraged, don't be afraid to come to my channel. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. The 2023 season comes to an end. Good night.